Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw. I'm here aboard Celestial Cristal, and we're off the coast of Greece. We're actually heading to Mykonos. I'm with Bonnie Lee, who is the president and founder of Travel Quest. And if you don't know Travel Quest, it's one of the biggest host agencies around. They're part of Travel Leaders uh, Network. Uh, we've talked to Bonnie before, and she just happened to be on the cruise I'm here. And I'm like, wow, that's great. I'm and really excited to see. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about what she thinks about this cruise. She's got a few of her uh, travel advisors on the ship with her. And you're going to find out about all that and more on Insider Travel Report. Bonnie, first of all, it's great to see you. Uh, we uh, here we are in your suite. I'm very and, and I was honored to be invited to, invited to your little soiree because you have a nice balcony on the in the bow of the ship, which I didn't even know. I've been on this ship. This is now four times. They they don't give me the suite. You know, it's someone someone had to take the hit. Um, so I said. I will take this suite. Okay, well, uh, you, you, you were sacrificing yourself. I to sacrificed it. I'm just, uh, James, you came to our little soiree, our party. The deck out here with the hot tub, I don't know how many people we had on there, but probably 20. You can have a hold a great cocktail party on. It was, it's fabulous. But you have a group, Love. but you have a group here, so it's we probably a good a thing. Group. Right. It, I mean, I really felt like it would be excellent for someone like a, a president, um, a family reunion, and somebody at the top takes the suite, and then they can entertain and outside. Which is what you did. Which is exactly what I did. You have your own butler. They take care of everything for you. It's The ship is fabulous. Let's, let's talk about the ship, because <laughs> it is an older ship. Yeah. Uh, I've been on it a number of times, but i got to tell you that it's very well maintained. Um, it has all the things you need, even though it's not really the focus of the ship. What you mm -hmm. focus is the destinations. We're in Greece, by the way. Uh, but what do you think about the ship? You know, what I love about the ship are the itineraries. I love the ship. I love the dining rooms. I love the bars. I love the staff, all of those. But I just feel like the itineraries for a Bonnie Lee in the world who has, I've been to Greece once, mm -hmm. um, saw some islands, but it's like appetizers. Right. Every single island that they take you to, and you do get the opportunity to see so many islands, right. they're like little appetizers. So for your clients who maybe haven't been to Greece and they're not sure where they want to go, great opportunity to show the difference. So, so, so you can go and see see these islands and say, well, I'm going to come back and maybe stay in a resort yeah, later. Which now. one did I like best? Right, right. Oh, that was my favorite. Right. I'm going to go there. I saw a resort. I saw this beach. I ate at this cafe. And then they can just really fill in the gaps yeah. that the experience maybe was missing if you're looking for that. And, of course, this ship also used by a lot of uh, tour operators for Greek programs as well, where you actually get on for three or four days to get, go off to the islands, right? Yeah, it's very it, it's different in that sense because you see people coming and going on different days where other ships, it's this day we're on, this day we're off. And now you're like, whoa, why do those people have their bags? Is it already Saturday? Oh my gosh, how did it go by so fast? Yeah, today was actually one of those days and yeah. they, everybody got on board and we're like, oh, we, the new blood is coming on board. Yep, right. the right. new people are coming on board. So I love the itineraries and I do really, I really love the ship. I love the bar at the back of the ship. Has oh, the, uh, absolutely. Has the best coffee with Baileys and cream and the bartender and the little like hot tub back there. Just like a lot of little intimate areas. Right. That's what I like about, or that's one of the things I really like well, about it. Well, the other it. thing I like about it is the entertainment's pretty super because they have this Cuban entertainment uh, oh team gosh. that's amazing, right? Oh, they, oh, what is that show? Showman or whatever. Yeah. They had songs from that. Greatest, it's a greatest showman. Yeah. Greatest showman. It was a good thing I was in the back because yeah. anybody that knows me knows. Thou hearest music, thou must dance. I was up in the back. Oh, it was great. The oh, no, inner I, I love that movie, and, and they're all cute, wonderful Cuban dancers. Their inflections on English are a little different, but hey, what the heck? It's 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 perfect, and it's yeah. not late. It's not super long. It's yeah. and it's great. Like you really get involved in it. I love I love the entertainment, and I love the waiters and the dining. Well, the food is actually we I mean the waiters and the food and the service is really good too. Mm -hmm. And if you're in the suite. 
<laughs> I'm just saying, if you get a little bit hungry, Marvin will, you just call him up and he brings you something. Yeah, you're right next to the presidential suite. I don't know if that could be any better than this, but that was. Uh, we are the presidential suite. Oh, you are the presidential <laughs> suite. I thought I saw a, a, another line. I right? think there could be two, one could on each two. side. Could be two, okay. Well, you didn't have that. You're, you're the, the secret presidential yeah, suite. Yeah, I'm the secret one, okay. exactly. No, it's an amazing spot, and, and I'm glad that all of your travel advisors had a chance to experience this because I don't think it's well known that people just don't understand this line too well. No, they don't. And I think the interesting part is the different cabin categories. You can have your inside, you can have your outside, you can have your balcony, and you can have your suite. I mean, all those different levels. Of course, different price points. Sure. It's going to work for everybody. Somebody who really wants the presidential suite, you have it. And somebody who has a really limited budget, you're in these ports. I mean, we're in port a long time, aren't we? Like you pull in early and you pull out late. So people are off exploring or they're up on the deck. They're having a cocktail. Well, or this case where we yesterday we were in Santorini and, and we were there pretty much gone a whole day. It and was, was the whole day. Yeah. Uh, part of our group this morning, we had this little group chat like, who's up this morning? And nine times out of 10, it was, we're trying to get out of bed. <laughs> We are we, we, so This morning, we, we had another little excursion, and I've actually been there to Poseidon Temple. I didn't make it this time because I have been there. And then now we're going to another two destinations in one day, right? In one day, and tonight, uh, where are we going, Mykonos? We're going to Mykonos. I, I got to go buy a new outfit, apparently. No one told me that's where the jet setters go, so... I'm feeling I'm going to be underdressed. You know, I'm looking. I'm looking at your husband, Wald, over there. You heard about the new outfit. Well, we'll, we'll see about that one. <laughs> I, uh, uh, but I think you you go ahead and do it. Yep. Okay. Oh, good. How many times? I'll give you permission. Right. Yeah. That's good. I think you know. It, it, how many times do you get to Mykonos and have and they have wonderful cl clothing stores and jewelry stores, jewelry stores. Uh, so it's it's really and it is a hot as we were talking about. It's really everybody wants to go to Mykonos, but Santorini wasn't bad either. Well. And you know, when you think about it, so staying on Mykonos is probably fairly expensive, I'm guessing. Yeah. So when you're on a celestial, wow, how great is it that you can go there for the while? I mean, we're there for the whole evening time until like 2 a.m. So you yeah. really can go out. You can, if you're a clubber, you can club, you can dine. Just remember, we are leaving at 2 a.m. So be careful. I'm, I am not the clubber, <laughs> um, but you could go out and club. Club. I'm I, going to. I, tell I have you been that. here. Done, I've done that, and it, it is hard. It, it, it is it's a lot of fun. But you have wonderful restaurants, and it's just a, a marvelous island. And then, of course, uh, we got two more destinations after that. It's just mm -hmm. on, on top. We got we got Milos, which, if you've been before, I I love. It's a wonderful. No, island. on this site I had done Celestial before, but the only repeat island was Rhodes. So all of these that we're doing now, these are like I'm a, a first timer That's to each wonderful. one of these. For me, these it was the opposite. Uh, a Rhodes was the first time for me, but all the others I've been to. Oh, interesting. So they absolutely have different itineraries over the years. They do different combinations. This is the something Aegean itinerary. The idyllic Aegean itinerary. And I've done this a few times, but they've never been too... Uh, itineraries like in part sometimes because guess what and we're looking at, at some rough water coming in as we go into yeah, making us we're dancing here because it is it can get rough but I remember once we were supposed to go to Milos and I woke up in the morning and I was in Syros like, and I said this doesn't look like Milos and they said no we had to go to Syros but what the heck it's another Greek island we the, when we did it in December of 19 we did three continents in seven days. So we did Europe, Asia, Mina, and Africa. And that was amazing. The nice part about that one, there was a couple of more days at sea, so you could relax a little. Yeah, this nice. one no, is- you don't have time here. This one is, go. I'm like, when is the sea day? I gotta, I gotta This, I gotta this is the sea day right now. The sea day between uh, one o'clock when we left uh, another port in Athens, which is, mm -hmm. is, is Lavrios and, and, and Mykonos, that the, the, the six hours you have, that's your sea day. This is, and I, oh, I did get the spa treatment in during that. <laughs> Which I did. As, as you must, as you must. But that's my one vacation rule. Yeah, well, it is. It, that's true. Now, anything else you can think of? You want to tell uh, travel advisors out there about this cruise or what you like them? I I really think for clients who have never experienced Greece, and they want to see a lot of islands, it's so convenient, right. and the port time is so long. Those, that to me is like giant. I love that. It's 
does not have a giant price point, so it's got a great price point. Once you're in the suite. Oh, I, I was just going to say, <laughs> except for... And it, I don't think that's that giant either. But no, it really isn't when you, you, know, you compare what you get. But I just love the fact that there is so many different price points. Right. And there's, I mean, if your people are going to stay on the ship, so much stuff to do in the day, like your dancing and your cards, all that kind of stuff. And if you want to go out... It's, it's kind of the best world. You get to see so much in really comfort, like sleeping in a really comfortable bed. And that's, that's I'm, I'm really trying to think here to see if I'm missing anything. No, I think you're right. Uh, oh, and this is my, uh, this, again, I said, I've been on this ship now four times. I can't believe it. It's probably the ship I've been on the most of in all cruising, oh, uh, wow. which is amazing. I, I, I was doing the math. I said, have I been on a ship m more often? No, it's not an answer. And the, sta the staff is, like, amazing. I, I, it's not like you walk around and they know you're in the presidential suite. They don't know. But the kindest smiles and the warm hearts, and they really and truly want you to have a good time. And yeah. that's what I love. And there's not, like, so many people that they don't see your face every day. They see you every day and they're like, oh, I remember you. Yeah, yeah I love that part. Yeah. Well, Bonnie, it's been great to cruise with you. A surprise. Uh, I, I wanted to interview a, a travel advisor. I knew they were on sub. I didn't realize it was you. Uh, but but it, that's great to, to see good friends on board mm -hmm. and to ha experience this together. Uh, it really is an eye opener for me. And again, great to see you. And thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. And we all came out of COVID, did we not? We did. And here we here. are. Here we are. Absolutely. Here we are, here we are together again. Absolutely. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.